Hello everybody! Today I'm going to try a new tuning. Thanks to Brendan Burns and Steven Weigel, I am now brave enough to finally try 14 notes per octave. So when I use a M Audio keyboard to rearrange the keys, I just go ahead and leave this top part open and not actually remove it. It's only a little bit of a pain to undo all these wires, but it's pretty easy just to take the keys out and put them back in without removing that, and I'm kind of lazy. If you want to try this yourself, you'll just need a few tools. You will need a sander of some sort, a screwdriver, some needle nose pliers, and then also a screwdriver that's small that's like a flathead, and a thing to put some stuff in. It's pretty easy to take the springs out. All you need is a needle nose pliers, pull it up, lift it out, and I use the funky springs for my own keyboard so that I have really good ones for my customers. And let me show you how to take a key out using a small flathead. You just have to push a tab forward in that little slot and it's best to use two hands but I'm just using one and pull it towards you. The long way on the key. <laughs> That's why we use two hands. This key I have sanded thinner for some other project I had done. I just found this leftover key and it actually came in handy. Um, I had not used it for a customer because look how lopsided it was. And in cases where you put a black note where a white key used to be, there will be a little extra black nub sticking out right here that you can use the needle nose pliers to shake loose and break off. And you might need that sander to um, smooth it down so it doesn't scrape up against the black key. Ironically, even though this keyboard has a higher ratio of black keys than a normal piano, which normally just leaves gaps, this one also ended up having places where the keys are too close together. This is because the keys have unequal spacing where the springs are attached every 12 keys. They're almost equal, but if you really take all the keys off and look at the attachments closely, you'll notice that they're not equal and they're just uneven enough in a pattern of 12 notes that if you're doing a tuning that's something other than 12 notes per octave, this unevenness is gonna mess you up in places like this where it's too close together. Other places will be far apart. But in general, it's a higher ratio of black keys than white keys. Those keyboards are usually much easier to put together because you don't have to worry about the gaps if you don't care. Whereas if you have a higher ratio of white keys than black keys, then you do have to sand the keys thinner to make the white keys physically fit. Test all your keys once you get them put back the way you want and make sure they sound normal and not scrapey or clicky. And I always fix all those little problems before I give anyone a keyboard. In my case, I don't really care because it's just for me. I just use the keyboard as a guide to get some notes in. Let's see what the diatonic scale sounds like. On this keyboard, we have it asymmetrical. So we have two black notes, four black notes. So let's see if we can, if we like this diatonic scale. I honestly haven't tried it yet. interesting. So some people have um, said that they like to use this 14 note scale as a seven note whole tone scale with um, seven extra notes. So let's try that out. So that would be um, that keyboard I wouldn't have wanted to make because that would have been more of an every other note is a black note. White, black, white, black, white, black, which is literally my nightmare. So even if I use it that way, I think this keyboard will be fine. So let's see what that sounds like though. Just the seven note whole tone scale would be, what fingering can I possibly use? How about? Oops. The 
there's no good traditional piano fingering for this. <laughs> eh. That's cool. I like that. exotic whole tone scale hmm well for me none of that really matters because I just forget what I'm doing and write by ear anyway normally I like to just write stuff and have you guys analyze it and then tell me what I did or tell other people what I did because honestly I don't know I don't really care what I do um okay I'm gonna try to write a song <laughs> wish me luck <laughs> Wait, Let's I give it a try. I didn't say I wanted to be in your video, Mom. Sure you do. No, I did. No, I don't. <laughs> give it a try, honey. Give it a try. It sounds beautiful. 